in my living room, we have this little window seat situation happening. And um, I love it so much. We sit here often. Um, it kind of has become a bit of a catch-all. I put plants here all the time that need light because they. Um, this is a really good south-facing window. So I'm about to have to bring some plants in from outside as the weather starts to cool off. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put up here one long shelf across, we're gonna take the blinds down and it'll be plants. So what we have going here is Corey has cut all of the wood for, I have the hiccups, for the internal assembly of the shelf. So we're basically building a frame out of these two by twos and it will go in that little alcove and then we'll add wood all around it to make the shelf. So we've got these two pieces and then all of those are the middle braces. So all that's happening here is we've put the end pieces on and now we're going back through and putting in all of these middle support pieces that will just help it stay stable. That's not how we're doing it at all. So just ignore him. The inside skeleton is complete. So this is all the support boards. So basically all that's left to do, we need to let this wood glue dry so that we can sand this down, just get rid of all the rough edges so everything fits nice and smoothly. Then this will just tuck into that alcove and either side will get screwed into studs. And then we will take these pieces of wood and wrap it to make it look like one big floating piece of wood. So um, glue has to dry, so probably won't work that on this again until tomorrow, but we made some good progress today. Okay, so we've taken the blinds down and all the brackets, and while we're doing it, I asked Corey if he'd take those down too in my kitchen because I'm never gonna close those blinds. So our next step will be to take this bracket, or support, put it up there. So with the shell in, next we're just gonna wrap it. So as you can see, I've got some pine that we cut basically just to fit this whole thing and just laid it on top. We're gonna nail that into place. We've got a little piece that'll go on the front and then a super thin piece of plywood that'll go on the bottom to make it look like one big old piece. 